We are doing preg checks today. So we're in the middle of getting the girls into the working area. So that's where the working area is. What's great about having cows that are already trained to electric fence is that when we need to get them into a working area, it takes one man with one poly wire that's actually not even on to get a whole herd of cows up into the working area. You can see Ben did it all by himself. I was just videotaping the whole thing and he was able to get all the mamas in and shut the gate behind them safe and sound. But of course we always have one that gets away. This little stinky got under the fence. We didn't need them anyways, it was fine. Next we run our girls through the head catch which secures them while we do the preg checks and gives the vet a safe place to do his work. So this is a yearling heifer we're getting preg checked. I got Dr. Clevenger, our vet, palpating our, our uh, females today. Dr. Clevenger, wh why do people preg check cows? What's the whole point of doing this practice? So there's, there's several benefits to preg checking. Um, a lot of it comes back to um, the economics with your farm. So the cost that's associated with holding over a, a pregnant versus a non-pregnant female you can have that additional cost and not know that they're they were open the entire time uh, the other uh, benefit to it is that sometimes we can determine if if one's getting ready to abort um, and that can explain to you you know if there's something that needs to be changed whether it's in your vaccination program or to at least just let you know of why a cow might slip it also gives you an idea of when the calves are going to be um, calving so that you know what to look out for um, and to be prepared for that on that day this cow here in particular, she's gonna be right about 90 days pregnant. So hopefully, um, in roughly just under 200 days, she'll calve in and you'll be prepared to tag it and get it worked up. Awesome, let it go, get ahead, 90 days. One thing about our cows, sometimes they actually don't wanna come out of the chute, so we just have to give them a little tap on the butt to get them to go out and they're not disturbed by the palpation or pregnancy check at all, she's just fine. So there's three main reasons why we do yearly preg checks here at the farm. The first one, obviously, is to know who is pregnant, who got bred, and who isn't. Um, one of the highest costs that could be in a cow-calf operation is not just buying hay, but is an open cow. So we are a smallish operation, 30 to 40 mama cows, and for us to make this work financially and economically, we have to have all of our girls bred every year. So that's number one. Number two, we need to know when our calves are coming. Obviously I know because I put the bull in at a certain time, I take them out at a certain time, but it's really nice to know who's on the front end of our calving season. I'm trying to get it down to a 60 day calving window in the spring and our vet is really, really talented so he could tell me to the day how many days bred these girls are. Thirdly, it's kind of like a yearly exam for our girls. So our vet, again, is very talented. He can feel if there's anything kind of off or wrong in the reproductive tract or if, if something just isn't quite right, whether it's cancer, cysts, tears, whatever, he can tell me if that's an issue or not. We actually had a free Martin, not South Pole. Um, it was actually a bottle baby that we, we took care of a couple years ago. We didn't know if she was gonna be able, if she was a free Martin or not, and we did find out she in fact was because she was a twin. So anyways, it's really helpful to know those things. You can't get that information from a blood sample. So if that's something that interests you guys, it's really helpful for us and helps our bottom dollar every year. So Dr. Clevenger, there's a couple different ways to preg check for cows and you just explained why it was so important, but you can palpate, which is what we're doing today. You can ultrasound. You can also do um, draw blood. Yes. So are there benefits, pros and cons to each one of these methods? Um, that you see as a vet? Sure, absolutely. So there's, uh, like you said, there's th kind of three different ways to go about doing it. Um, the ultrasound and for doing the manual palpation, both of those are done rectally. Um, even with the ultrasound, that's what we would do. The advantage to the ultrasound is that certainly we can maybe pick up a little bit earlier in pregnancy, um, around 30 days, sometimes maybe just before that, but really from 30 days on is what we would typically check. Um, another benefit to ultrasounding would be is that we could fetal sex um, once we get to around day 50, 55, uh, about up until about 120 days, so four months. Uh, so if that's important to you um, in terms of what you might keep or what you might call, um, that would be something that you can look into. It's also would be good for you if you're marketing your cattle and you want to sell, you know, uh, confirmed heifer pregnancies. 
I was not manning my station like I was supposed to in this next clip, so I apologize for the extra noise the girls make coming through the head shoot as they all came in at once instead of one by one. So I apologize for the extra sound. Uh, the manual palpation we can do uh, essentially from uh, 30 days all the way up until nine months. The earlier we do our pregnancy checks, the more accurate it's going to be. So if we get later on into six, seven, eight months of pregnancy, it certainly becomes harder to determine or get as tight of a window, um, basically because you've got calves that might be born that are 60 pounds and you might have a 100 pound calf. So later growth in, you know, in that third trimester um, just varies with breed, varies with sex. Um, and so doing it early on is important. Uh, the thing with doing the blood work, blood work is a good way to test as well. Um, the downfall is that we might not pick up on some of these ones that have an early one that they're going to abort. So you may have um, the appropriate progesterone levels there that, that's telling you that yes, we have a pregnancy, but she may be in the process of losing it at that time. So Dr. Clevenger, I know sometimes this looks kind of aggressive to some people who aren't involved with um, agriculture and farming and doing preg checks on a regular basis. So does preg checking a cow, does that actually hurt her or can that cause like a abortion or anything like that by doing the palpation and the ultrasound palpation? Um, good question. Uh, certainly when you, when you go and have somebody that comes to palpate, you want somebody who's experienced doing it. Um, there's really no harm that comes to the cow, uh, but certainly in early pregnancies, especially these 30 days to kind of 50 day um, window, if someone is too aggressive and they're trying to find that calf, which is at that point in time is still um, in the vesicle itself, you could cause an abortion. Um, but no, as long as you have a trained veterinarian coming out to do the, do the procedure, nope, it's a very safe procedure. Um, and really we don't find that we have any kind of um, negative effects to that, um, to the cow or to, to the fetus itself. All right, folks. Well, I hope that helped answer some of your 101 basic questions when it comes to uh, preg checks in cattle, what types of methods there are out there, and how it can really help your bottom dollar. So until next time, guys, happy grazing.